Hey everyone, welcome to today's yoga practice. We're gonna be moving through a really well-balanced flow. We have a little bit of strength, a little bit of stretch, and certainly just tuning into our breath. So let's go ahead and come on down to our mats. We'll begin in child's pose, and you can choose how to take this. We'll all begin with our big toes together, knees apart, or maybe a little closer if you could use some lower back support. Just crawling your hands forward and eventually melting the body onto the mat. Finding a point to rest your forehead, whether that is the earth, you could use a block or even stacked hands here. And then if it feels comfortable and safe for you, just fluttering the eyes closed. And simply observe the breath. Don't change it, don't force anything here. But just notice that rhythm, the way you're naturally showing up as you inhale and exhale. And then bringing your awareness purely to this physical element. See if you can start to soften through the muscles a little bit more. Let your glutes relax. The hips shift a little closer to your heels. The shoulders soften. And the heart drifts closer to the mat. And with this, Maybe you notice the breath naturally coming along, relaxing a little more into it. The inhales grow a little bit deeper, a little slower. And the exhales really just softening through your entire body. Could feel nice to take a few sighs out through the mouth here. Wherever you are within your day and your week, however you're showing up to your mat in this moment, giving yourself permission to let go of anything that is no longer serving. As our body starts to let go of resistance, our breath begins to build as a natural reaction. We'll shift into our ujjayi breathing pattern, in and out, just through the nose. And let's just take one more really deep breath in. And your breath out. Tabletop position. We'll go ahead and lift into all fours. Stacking our shoulders just above our wrists, our hips over the knees. Give yourself a little rock from front to back so you really just can kind of tune into that core. Lower belly already lifting in and out. And then pause into center. Let's bring our left hand directly beneath of the face. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling. And as you do so, we're twisting the chest open. Think right shoulder stacking directly over top of the left. Press down into that left palm, especially the thumb and your index finger, lifting up and out of the shoulder. And then spark through your right fingertips. Let's take this really, really slow. Curl your thumb in and then your index finger, your middle, ring and pinky. You create a tight fist here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then slowly release your pinky, your ring finger, your middle, index, and thumb. And then you just take this a few more times, a little bit quicker, rippling through the hands, feeling those tiny little areas of the body come alive. The next time your hand opens, let's just keep it open wide. Take one more inhale, reach and open a little bit further. Right arm threads beneath of your left shoulder and cheek down to the mat as you exhale out. And let's go ahead and reach our left hand towards the upper right diagonal. Claw your mat through all the way onto the finger pads. And then utilize this to twist the chest open. Maybe you can look up towards the ceiling. And if you're ready for a little bit more, swivel your shins towards the back left diagonal. Curl your left toes beneath of you and then just kind of slide the ball of your foot out as you straighten through your left knee. Now you might use this to kind of push your way a little deeper into that right shoulder, spinning the chest open. And let's take a full breath in. Hold as you exhale. One more inhale. Go ahead and reverse your journey through. We're gonna slide our left hand just beneath of our left shoulder, swiveling the shins back as you exhale. Wide arm reaches all the way up to the ceiling. Hold here, big breath in to open up and then tabletop as you exhale.
exhale. Take some clockwise circles, shoulders just hovering above your wrist, releasing out here. And then we'll pause into center, just switch this out. So your right hand comes directly beneath of your face. Left arm reaches all the way up to the ceiling, so we're twisting the chest open. Then you're really pressing up and out of that right palm, staying supported through the shoulder. Slow and steady this first round, curl your thumb in, your index finger, your middle ring and pinky. And then take your pinky out, your ring out, middle, index, and thumb. Now you just roll through a few more times. Finding that coordination within. The next time your hand opens wide, just keep it there. Take one more breath in to twist and lift. Thread left arm beneath of your right as you exhale, shoulder and cheek to the mat. We'll take our right hand towards the upwards left diagonal, tap onto your finger pads here to then twist your chest open. If you want a little bit more, swivel your shins to the back of right diagonal, tuck your right toes under, and then just kind of scooch in the ball of your right foot out as you straighten through that right knee. Letting this power shift you a little deeper into your left shoulder, peel the chest open. Engaging through the core, take a big breath in. Hold for your exhale. And then one more inhale. Let's go ahead and come on out of this, just reversing your way as you exhale. Eventually, right hand comes just beneath of the shoulder. Swiggling your shins back, the left arm reaches all the way up to the ceiling. Big breath in. And then bringing the hand back down as you exhale. This time, let's take some counterclockwise circles, just hovering above the wrists. And then we'll pause right back into neutral cow pose. Dip the belly, lift the heart, take a giant breath in. Cat pose, exhale, round and curl through the spine. Chin pulls all the way into your chest. And again, inhale to your cow, lift and open up. Exhale to your cat, round and hollow. One more time, big breath in. Think about your palms for this round. Use them to pull the heart through, creating that traction. And then exhale, round and curl. Actually press away from your mat. So much pressure down as if you were going to create an imprint of your hands. And then tabletop position, take a breath in here. Just tuck your toes downward facing dog as you exhale. We'll go ahead and rise high to the balls of your feet as you breathe in. And then lower the heels right back down as you breathe out. This time, we're gonna take a circular motion through the ankles. You're gonna lift the heels to the upwards right diagonal. Sweep them through center to the left diagonal and then all the way down behind you. Let's take that one more time. Same direction, just lifting up and around, working through those toes, the arches, and then lower down. We'll rise high to the balls of our feet. This time, let this ripple you out into a high plank pose. Stacking your shoulders directly above the wrist, you may need to kind of scooch those feet back. Get really strong within your belly. Lift up and out of the hands, the shoulders. Hold here, take one more inhale. Pike the hips, downward facing dog as you exhale. We'll rise high to the balls of our feet, breathe in. Lower the heels down, breathing out. This time taking the heels, sweeping up to the left diagonal. Passing through center, right diagonal. All the way down and around, and another full rotation up to the left. Through center to the right, all the way down. And then lift straight up. Once again, rippling forward, high plank pose, toes scooch back as much as you need here. Pulling up through the pit of your belly. Make sure you're not sinking into those shoulder blades. We'll breathe in here. And then downward facing dog, hips lift. Pressing them back as you exhale through. Let's take one cleansing round of breath. Huge inhale through your nose. Open the mouth, let it go. We'll ripple forward, high plank pose, breath in. This time, knees, chest, and chin to breathe out. Cobra pose, inhale, slither forward. You can stay low or lift up really, really high. And then child's pose, hips all the way to your heels. Let's take one round of breath, inhale. And exhale. 
tabletop position, lift up to all fours, and then tuck your toes downward facing dog. We'll ripple forward to a high plank pose, breathing in, right back up, down dog. Think of your abdominals lifting you into this inverted V, exhaling out twice more. Inhale, brings you all the way forward, and then exhale, find that connection, hips up and back. One more time, inhale, and then you exhale. Now think of that same core connection without lifting your right leg, runner's lunge. You're just going to look for it, step your right foot through. Go ahead and tap onto your fingertips, drop your left knee down to the mat, and uncurl the toes. Let's think about a cow-like motion here. So inhale, press the heart forward, open through your chest. Keep your hips pressing forward, chin tucks in, around into a cat-like motion as you exhale. You should feel this into your left lower back and hip. Again, inhale, drifts you all the way forward, opening up. And then exhale, round and curl, pull away from that right thigh. One more time, inhale, hips are pressing forward. You press those hips even more forward as you exhale and round. And then bring your spine back to neutral. Left palm goes flat to the mat. Let's take a twist. Right arm reaches all the way up to the ceiling. Spin the chest open. Good. Now just one time here, bringing your fingers in one at a time. Find that fist and then hold that fist. Actually squeeze it here. You might even feel your arm kind of shake here a bit. And then just one solid motion. Pop the hand open. Take a huge breath and reach up higher. Hand to the mat. Runner's lunge as you exhale. Tuck your back toes. Lift the knee up. Take one breath in here. Forward fold, step it on up as you exhale out. Halfway lift to breathe in. Fold forward as you breathe out. Soft knees will roll you all the way up through the spine. Reach the arms overhead, inhale, look between your palms. Hands to heart center as you exhale. We'll reach the arms right back up, inhale for a back bend. And then slow and steady, fold forward, exhale all the way down to your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Plant your palms, right foot, left foot, step it back as you breathe out. Hold here for one inhale. Lower down halfway, chaturanga to exhale. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, pike the hips, press it back as you exhale. We'll take one breath in and one breath out. Let's ripple forward, high plank pose, breathe in. Down dog to breathe out. Again, inhale, tipping all the way forward. Move from your lower belly, exhale back. Once more, inhale, and you exhale. Now that same core control, no lifting of the leg. You step your left foot forward as you look forward. Tap onto your fingertips. Go ahead and drop your back knee down, untuck the toes. We'll think about creating a cow-like motion through the spine. So inhale, arch, lift, and open up. Keep your hips pressing forward, exhale round, pull the belly away from your thigh. Nice big opening into that right lower back and hip. And again, inhale, arch and open up. Exhale, round and curl it out. One more time, big breath in. Your breath out. Just bring yourself back into a neutral spine, right palm goes flat, left arm reaches up, let's take a twist. Good, and this time, one finger at a time, just drawing into a fist. Once you have it, squeeze, 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 squeeze in, feel all of that tension, and then you just release one motion, pop the hand open, take a big breath in, hands to the mat, runner's lunge as you breathe out. Take one inhale here, forward fold, right to left as you exhale, halfway lift, breathe in, fold forward, breathing out. Soft knees rolls you all the way up to the spine, reach your arms overhead, inhale, look up, Hands to heart as you exhale. Reach right back up, inhale for your back bend. Fold forward, exhale all the way down. Halfway lift, breathe in. Plant your palms, left foot, right foot, step it back to breathe out. Hold here, one inhale. Chaturanga to exhale. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog to breathe out. One inhale. And your exhale. High to the balls of your feet. Drop your knees down to the mat. Tabletop. Go ahead and untuck your toes. 
We'll bring our left hand directly beneath of our face. Right arm reaches all the way up to the ceiling. Take a big breath in. Right arm threads beneath of your left as you exhale. Go ahead and take those same steps as we did previously, setting yourself up to your max potential at this moment. And if you're ready for even more, left arm is going to sweep around. Thread the forearm behind your lower back. Search for your right inner thigh with those left fingertips. If you feel a little wobbly here, press down harder into that right arm, right shoulder, right shin, and left follow the foot. Lots of support here. Good, feeling even more. Go ahead and flip your left leg all the way up. Point those toes. Hold it here, not for long. We have one more inhale. Lower your foot, release out of the shape as you exhale. Left hand comes beneath of your left shoulder. Right arm reaches all the way up to the ceiling. Take a big breath in. Tabletop as you exhale. Tucking your toes, downward facing dog. We'll ripple forward, high plank pose, breathe in, down dog to breathe out. Step your right foot forward, long runner's lunge to inhale. Crescent, exhale, reaching the arms all the way up and overhead. So we're stacking the body here, shoulders over ribs, over hips. Dig into the ball of your left foot. We have a big breath in, see if you can reach just a tiny bit further. And then hands to the mat, standing split as you exhale. You're going to shift onto your right leg. Left leg pops up, and I really want you to focus on hip square and then folding the body in. Drifting your forehead closer and closer to your right shin. Lifting up through that left hamstring. We have one more inhale here. Runner's lunge, just step it back with your exhale, and then three-legged dog, plant your palms, right leg kicks all the way through, take a full inhale, bend the knee, open through your hip as you exhale, let this feel really, really nice, press your chest back, pike up through that right knee, we have one more inhale, just re-extend your right leg with your exhale, now hold it here, you can keep that leg lifted or lower it if you need. We're going to ripple forward, shoulders stack above your wrist, inhale, and then chaturanga, exhale, lower. Upward facing dog, both feet to the mat, lift and open. Downward facing dog presses you all the way back. Good. As soon as you land here, left foot steps forward, long runner's lunge to breathe in, warrior two, right foot spins flat. Windmill the arms up and open as you exhale. Shoulders are stacking, sparking through your fingertips. Find lots of space here. We'll flip our front palm, peaceful warrior, reach up and back to breathe in. Side angle, left forearm, left hand down to the mat or block as you exhale. Right arm reaches up to the ceiling. One finger at a time, let's curl the hand into a fist, and this time just circle out through your wrist. Go the opposite direction. Go ahead and then just popping the hand open. We'll press the hips a little more forward, roll that right side body back to stack. Hold it here, you have one more inhale. Lunge twist as you exhale, right hand down. Left arm reaches all the way up, twisting the body open. Let's take a big breath in, hug your left thigh in a little bit tighter as you exhale. One more inhale to reach and lift, hand to the mat, chaturanga, you can float the left leg through if you'd like, exhale, lower, upward facing dog, breathe in, downward facing dog, two, breathe out. Let's take a full breath in, and your breath out. Go ahead and walk your hands to the very back edge of your mat. You're just going to take both hands, wrap them around your right ankle. You might even kind of interlace the fingers at the back of that ankle, then pull your body in. Squeeze your forearms into the calf, and then think of just drawing your forehead close, close, close into that right shin. Really getting deep into our hamstrings. You have one more inhale, hold for the exhale, 
and then go ahead and release the bind of your hands, halfway lift, breathe in, crawl your way forward as you breathe out. We'll rise high to the balls of our feet, drop your knees down to the mat, tabletop position, uncurl the toes, right hand comes beneath of your face, left arm reaches all the way up, twist the body open, big breath in, and then go ahead and thread the arm through as you exhale. Bringing your shoulder and cheek down to the mat, reaching your right arm forward, twist the chest open. Ready for more, swiveling the shins, tucking the toes, lifting arms into that same shape. Even more, this time right forearm will thread behind your lower back. Search for the left inner thigh. And then maybe you can press down so hard, float your right leg up, point the toes. Hold it here, one more inhale. Lower your right foot down, releasing out of this with your exhale. Right hand comes just beneath of your right shoulder, pressing up, inhale, left arm all the way high. Tabletop as you exhale. Let's take our downward facing dog, tuck the toes, press it back. Ripple forward, high plank pose, breathe in. Downward facing to breathe out. Left foot steps forward, a long runner's lunge, inhale, crescent, sweep the arms overhead as you exhale. And again, working on that strong step of your body, continue to press back into your right foot, lift and reach tall through the spine. Setting your eyes, find your focus. Let's just take one more breath in. Hands down for standing split, come onto your left foot, Right leg pops up as you exhale out. So again, we're thinking of dropping the head down, drawing the forehead super close into that left shin. Right leg is lifting really, really high. Hamstring and glute floating you up even more. Let's take one more inhale here. Runner's lunge as you exhale. And then palms plant flat, three-legged dog, kick your left leg all the way through. We'll go ahead and bend the knee, open up through the hip, just flaring the entire lower half open. Really pressing the heart back, take one more inhale. Re-extend your left leg as you exhale. Now hold here, you can keep your leg floating or lower it down. We'll ripple forward, high plank pose, breathe in, shoulder stack, chaturanga, breathe out. Upward facing, both feet connect, inhale. Downward facing dog to exhale. We'll step our right foot forward, long runner's lunge, breathing in. Warrior two, let's windmill open as you breathe out. Stretching through your arms here. Soften those shoulders, moving with your breath. We'll go ahead and flip the front palm, peaceful warrior up and back, you inhale. And then side angle pose, right forearm, right hand comes forward and down. As you exhale, left arm up, look up. And we'll curl the hand into a fist, one finger at a time. And then hold that fist, just take a few circles of your wrist. Go the opposite direction. And then go ahead and pop the hand open, hold here, press the hips a little more forward, open the chest even more. You have one more inhale here. Hand to the mat, lunge, twist as you exhale. We'll take a deep breath in. Twist a bit more as you exhale. And then one more inhale. Hand to the mat, your chaturanga invite to float your right leg through as you exhale. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing to breathe out. We'll go ahead and walk our hands to the very back edge of the mat, setting up for our fourfold second side. So this time, hands come to your left ankle, maybe even finding that interlace behind, creating a strong grip, holding the body in. If possible, squeezing your forearms onto that left calf. We'll take a full breath in. Fold in tighter as you breathe out. And then go ahead and release your bind, half lift, inhale. Let's crawl our way forward, down dog, to exhale. 
One cleansing round of breath. Inhale through your nose. Open the mouth, let it go. High to the balls of your feet, drop your knees, untucking the toes. Left hand bending of your face, right arm reaches all the way up. Big breath in, thread it through with your exhale. You know the way. Slowly working into your shape. Now, if you are ready for even more, maybe you start to float that leg up and then bend your knee. See if you can release your left arm. Catch for the top of your foot, and then pull your heel into the seat as you lift that knee up. Bend your elbow, shoulder slides down the back. Press into your right arm, right shin. Hold it here, one more inhale. Without slingshotting, gently release upon your exhale, slow and steady. Left hand comes back beneath of your shoulder, right arm reaches all the way up, huge breath in. Tabletop to downward facing dog as you breathe out. We'll take one giant breath in, rippling forward, high plank pose. Downward facing dog, press it back, exhale out. Right foot steps forward, runners lunge, breathe in. Crescent, lift up as you exhale. Hold here for one breath in, standing split. Exhale, hands down, left leg lifts up high. So in this standing split, we are going to bend our left knee, replicating our twisted dog-like action. Let your left hip open so that knee is lifting up really high. Now look straight down to the mat. Press your left palm flat to the earth so you have a lot of traction there. And then see if you can reach back with your right hand, catch for the top of your left foot. Pull that heel in, knee lifts up, and then maybe you can drop the head down. Look at your right shin. Pulling your forehead in that direction. Hold it here. You've got this. Take a full breath in. Breath out. One more inhale. Listen carefully. Half lift to take a half moon as you exhale. You're going to release your left leg. Right hand comes down. Left arm reaches all the way up. Spin the body open. We'll take a full breath in to lift and reach here. Lunge, twist. You're just going to lower hand and ball of your foot to the mat. As you exhale, right arm reaches all the way up. You have one inhale here. Hands to the mat, three like a dog as you exhale. Now your choice, you can keep with the leg lifting. You can lower it if you're ready. Chin stand, shift forward, look forward, chin tucked. Floating your legs up, and then you'll ripple through upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Right away, step your left foot forward, runner's lunge, breathe in, warrior two, let's spin the body open, exhale out. Hold it here, reach and spark long, and then flip your front palm, peaceful warrior, all the way back, side angle pose, left arm down, Right arm reaches up. Now, if you've been enjoying those vibes, maybe you're ready here now to thread right forearm behind the lower back. You can search for that left inner thigh or full bind. Full bind, your left arm reaches beneath of your leg, finding your fingertips. Just making sure you're not compromising the shape here, so lean back, press the hips forward, open through your chest. You have a deep breath in. Hold, just exhale. And then everybody, open your arms wide. Take one inhale here. Bring your hands down to the mat, three-legged dog. Kick your left leg through as you exhale. We'll bend the knee, open up through the hip. Option to stay here or flip your dog. Left foot would come down to the mat, swiveling the feet, hips high and reach the fingertips back behind you. You have one more inhale. Dip the hips, you're gonna come around. Chaturanga to exhale. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, two, breathe out. Let's walk our hands to the very back edge of the mat this time. Both hands wrap around your ankles. Right hand, right ankle, left hand, left ankle. 
Pen the elbows outwards and absolutely pull your body in. Good, keep pulling the body in. Just scoop your elbows behind your calves, forearms track long. And then maybe you gently step onto your fingertips, cupping the heels, drawing your forehead closer in between your shins. You have one more inhale. Hold for your exhale. And then just slipping those fingers out from the knee, take a half lift, breathe in, downward facing dog. We'll walk it forward as you breathe out. Lifting high to the balls of your feet, to lower the knees down to the mat, untuck your toes. Right hand comes beneath of your face, left arm reaches up, big breath in, thread it through as you exhale. Finding your variation. Again, if you are ready for it, this round, you might float that right leg up and then bend the knee, release your right hand, see if you can catch for the top of your foot, pulling the heel in and then lifting your knee up. Think of bending your right elbow, shrug the shoulders down the back, press into your left arm, your left shin for balance. Take one more inhale. Make sure you don't fling out of this, a gentle release as you exhale. Coming on through, right hand beneath of your right shoulder, sweep the left arm up, big breath in. Tabletop to downward facing as you exhale. Big breath in, ripples you forward, high plank pose, and then downward facing dog, exhale back. We'll step our left foot forward, runner's lunge, breathe in, reach the arms all the way up, crescent as you breathe out. We just have one inhale here. Standing split, hands down, shifting forward as you exhale. Now this time, we are going to bend our right knee. Let that hip open up. Look straight down to your mat. Place your right palm flat to the earth so you have a lot of grounding. And then slowly reaching your left hand back, catching for the top of your foot if possible. Pull the heel in, lift the knee higher, and maybe then you drop your head down. Look at your left shin, forehead pulled in tighter. Breathe into this. You have one more inhale. Hold as you exhale. And then release the foot. Half lift for half moon. Left hand down. Right leg extends. Right arm reaches up. And all of this opening. Good. Really letting go. Sparking outwards. You have one big inhale. And then lunge twist. Just bring right hand down. Ball of your right foot to the earth, left arm reaches up as you exhale out. You hold here to twist, one breath in, hands to the mat, three-legged dog, left leg kicks through as you exhale. You can keep it lifted, you can lower it, or chin stand, just move. We all find up dog to downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, runner's lunge, breathe in to warrior two, open up as you breathe out. We'll flip our front palm, peaceful warrior, inhale, bringing the body down, exhale, side angle. Options here, you can stay half bind, left forearm behind, reaching for your right inner thigh, full bind, right arm threads beneath, find fingertips behind. Wherever you are, press the heart, the hips forward, Open through your chest. You've got this. Stay with it. Take a big breath in. Hold for your exhale. And then open your arms wide. Inhale here. Runner's lunge. Exhale. Bring it on down. Three-legged dog. Right leg kicks through. Breathe in. Bend the knee, open the hips, stay or flip as you breathe out. Make sure you set those feet properly, reach back through your right fingertips. Keep hiking through the hips, lots of engagement. We have one more inhale to open up. Dip the hips, chaturanga, direct flip around as you exhale. 
Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, two, breathe out. Let's walk our hands to the back of the mat. Second and final round in this fold. Both hands will wrap, bend your elbows outwards, pull the body in. Scoop your elbows behind, let the forearms track, maybe step onto your fingertips even further this round, and then just absolutely draw in. You have one more inhale. Your exhale. Go ahead and release your bind, half lift, breathe in. Downward facing dog, let's crawl it forward as you breathe out. One cleansing round of breath, inhale through your nose. Open the mouth and let it go. High to the balls of your feet, bend the knees. We are coming all the way onto our backs. You can step or hop or float the feet through. Adjust as necessary on your mat. And then just go ahead and rock onto your spine. Hug the knees into your chest. Give them a nice squeeze here. You can close your eyes. Add a little rock of your body. And then find a nice opening into our hips. We're just going to toss our arms out to the side for a moment. Flex your feet. Kick both soles up to the ceiling. You're going to lower your left leg just onto a diagonal so you find some space here, a little engagement of the core. Now start to cross through your inner thighs, then bend your knees, pulling your feet naturally towards your face. We're going to lift head, neck, and shoulders up. Grab through your calves, your ankles, the blade edges of your feet, wherever you can connect, and then lower your upper body down to the mat and start to pull the feet towards your face. Think of tucking your chin to the chest, keeping your lower back as grounded as possible. If you need a little less, dip your heels into the body. A little more, kick your feet up to the ceiling and then actively pull the inner arches of your feet to the face. Let's hold here for a really strong round of breath. Inhale. Pull it even tighter as you exhale. Now leave your right hand. We're just going to move our left hand. Grab through the inner calf, inner ankle, or the inner edge of your foot. We're slowly going to start to release out of this. You're going to bend your left knee a lot. Keep a hold of that foot. Start to place your left knee all the way down to the mat so you're extending it forward. Simultaneously kicking the right foot straight up to the ceiling. Leg straightens and you're pulling the leg into your face. You should feel a big opening here into your right hamstring, left inner thigh. Think of pressing your left knee further towards the mat in front of you, and then pulling your right shin into your face so you feel this big split of the thighs. We'll take a really full breath in. Your breath out. Keep a hold with your right hand. Just release your left hand. Bend your right knee a lot. Bring your left hand to the outer right thigh. Staggered stance, spinal twist with the bind. If you can hold on with that right hand, keep it there. Just guide your knee across of your body with the left hand. Once you have this, you can turn your chin past the right shoulder. And I want you to think about pressing your left foot, your right knee, and your right shoulder blade into the earth. Even if that's not quite possible, just thinking about all of those points of contact to really twist and reset the spine. We'll take one more breath in here. Hold as you exhale out. Now just release that all. We slowly roll onto our backs. We're going to collect our knees into the chest. Give them a nice squeeze, maybe a little rock from side to side. Just think of this resetting the spine. And then we'll come into center knees, draw into the chest. Flex your feet a lot. Just toss the arms briefly out to the side and then kick the soles of your feet straight up to the ceiling. So we'll lower the right leg just a touch here so you have a little extra space. 
Think of tightly crossing your inner thighs first and then bending your knees, feeling that connection, feet towards your face, head, neck, and shoulders lift up, catching for your calves, your ankles, your outer edges of the feet, and then pulling the body in. So again, you can choose your setting here. We want the chin tucking down, tailbone presses forward, and then option to bring your heels in a little tighter to alleviate some pressure, maybe taking them up so you can feel a little bit more, even pulling those feet in. We'll take a really strong round of breath here. Inhale. Exhale. And then take your right hand, move it towards your left inner calf, ankle, or foot. We're going to take ourselves out of this pose. Keep your left hand attached. Just start to scoop that heel into your glute. Let your right knee shift forward, laying the leg down upon the mat. Left leg simultaneously kicks straight up, shin towards your face. And then you're holding here, pulling in opposition. Shin comes in tighter, pressing that right knee more forward, breathing into the hamstring and inner thigh. We'll take a full breath in, hold here, just exhale out, and then still staying attached with our left hand, just release your right hand, bend the knee into your chest, place right palm to your outer left thigh for staggered stance, spinal twist, keeping the bind if possible, guiding that knee all the way across, maybe turning your chin over the left shoulder. And this second side, you think of right foot, left knee, and left shoulder blade really pressing into the mat. Full breath in. Breath out. Slowly releasing it all, drifting your knees back into the chest. Giving them a gentle pull in, flexing your feet, a little sway from side to side. Just release it on out. And then let's take a happy baby pose. Knees to your outer ribs. Catch for the inner or outer edges of your feet. It does not matter. And then think of this as really neutralizing through the spine. So pressing your lower back, the back of your head into the earth. Feeling those thighs being drawn down by your ribs. Big opening here. Maybe you close your eyes at this point and keep them closed. We'll take a full breath in. Exhale out. And then gently releasing the feet, collecting the knees into the chest. Give them a tight squeeze. We'll take one more inhale. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees fall open, toss your arms up and overhead as you exhale. Letting your spine come into its natural curve, so if you feel a little space between the mid back and the mat, absolutely fine. Elbows melting down, heart expands. Can you feel that balance of strength, this newfound opening, softening of the muscles. And the way you supported all of that movement with the breath. Maybe you recognize here on your mat, the consistency of your breath. It carries you through any and every posture of this practice. Maybe you can start to apply it in more areas of your life. Obviously, it comes to us so natural. It's necessary in every moment of our day. But very often overlooked as soon as we step off of our mat. So again, wherever you are within your day, your week, as you eventually move out of this practice, I challenge you to hold tight to your breath, taking gentle reminders throughout the day. Maybe take that really full round of breath to come back whenever you feel overwhelmed or stressed. 
to calm the heart, the mind as it's racing from one thing to the next. And finding the power within your breath and within yourself. You can stay as you are if you're ready to expand the body, letting the legs go long, maybe you let the arms come all the way down by the hips, palms will shine up, shoulder blades tucked beneath the view, heart super high. And you open up here now with zero consciousness to the breath, allowing it to stay down, deep, solid, your foundation here on the mat and off the mat as well. You're welcome to stay resting here for as long as you please. I wish you an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me.